Hello! Um, this is the first video in well over a year. I think um, one of the last things I filmed for this channel was a video about me making myself a schedule, which I filmed and edited and never uploaded. And then I never uploaded anything ever again. Yay me! Um, but I'm thinking I want to try and get back into this. Uh, it was fun the last time I was here. So we'll see. Um, the reason I figured I would make this video today was because I have a fun story to tell. I am currently trying to get through Swan's Way by Marcel Proust. Uh, I have a project in school for it, so I'm going to have to have a oral presentation uh, in a week and a half and I'm supposed to read the first two books in the series for that and then I have a written uh, portion of this project a couple of weeks later and I am still not through book one so I'm not going to be done uh, for my oral presentation that's not happening um, if you've ever read Swan's Way you know, it is the slowest piece of literature ever written. Oh my gosh. Um, and I got to choose myself from this long list of books. And I chose that because that's like really fine literature, right? Uh, everybody, everybody should have read some Proust at some point in their lives right? Yeah. Uh, did that come back to bite me? So I've been reading Swan's Way for well over a month now and it's going so slow. It's such a slog. Um, but I find it way more enjoyable now than what I did when I started it and I will tell you why. So I work part-time in a school library, right? Uh, and a couple of weeks back I took Swan's Way with me to school, which I do, er or work, which I do every day. Uh, I try to read on the train. And I figured, okay, today I'm going to read in lunch, because I haven't gotten as far today as I should have. Um, if I sound stuffed, uh, it's because I'm getting over a flu, <laughs> sorry. Um, so I take my book and my lunch up to the teacher's room and I sit my ass down in a chair by a table and uh, start to read. And uh, one of the teachers comes over and asks me what I'm reading. Uh, and I tell them, I say, I'm reading Swan's Way. And they go, oh, that's boring. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, and then one of the Norwegian teachers comes over and she goes, oh, what are you reading? And I go, Swan's Way. And she goes, oh, my God. That book is so amazing. And I'm like, what? And then one of the physics teachers comes over and he asks. And I tell him Swan's Way. And he goes, oh my god, that book is so amazing. And I go, what? And so they start to discussing amongst themselves why they like this book. And I'm like, huh? Um, and they try to explain to me why it's good. Or rather, why they like it. And I'm like, well, one of the problems... I am having with it, it, it's that nothing's happening. I'm at that point, I thought I think I was like three fourths out. Yeah, I think I was about three fourths. And I said, I'm still waiting for something to happen. And they go, Oh, no, but it's not supposed to. Nothing will happen. If you're waiting for something to happen, you're going to get disappointed. Nothing will happen. It's not about things happening. And I'm like, Yeah, it's like reading. 400 page a 400 pages long poem and they're like yeah yeah that's the point and I'm like what so what they tell me is that it's about the inner life of this character and his emotions and what he feels and what he thinks and his long to me rambling but to them poetic descriptions about this city in which he spent time as a kid and about this character Swan and all these things. And I'm like, okay. Uh, and I figure I have to put myself in a different mindset when I want to read this book. 
which is what I'm doing now. It's still really, really, really slow, but I'm getting there and it's way more enjoyable to me now than what it was originally. And I just realized this story is not as funny as I thought it was. I've been telling it for weeks. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna upload this video anyway. Um, because I actually like this story. Um, to me, this story sort of shows that you shouldn't read the classics because you think you have to. There is nothing about classic literature that is worth anything unless you get enjoyment out of it. And I think that's true about most literature, or all literature. Unless you have to for work or school, you shouldn't read literature you don't like. Period. You get n If you don't get anything from it, and sure, if you think it makes you a better person in some respect or whatever, then slog through something boring if you want to, but I don't see the point, really. Um, that is one thing. But another thing is, I think... Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. But I think that if you are going to read classic literature, even though you're not really the sort of person who likes that, you need to try to put yourself in the mindset that it will be a great book instead of doing what I did, was, which was go into it thinking that this was going to be the worst book most boring long book ever because if you think that about it going in it's going to be it's so going to be so yeah um i'm gonna sign off now uh my kitty monster is gonna sign off with me hello hey um and i'm going to see if i can't bring this channel back to life if you hear that plinging that's my laundry being done right now, so I'm gonna go hang that up. And I'm going to see if I can if I can't get out a video maybe once a week or every other week. We're gonna try and see how that goes. So yeah. Bye!